Do you think Jesus actually died, was dead for three days, and came back to life? Literally. Yes. Why would you believe that? Long story. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a Christian myself, but I'm, you know, if people want to say, well, actually, you sh Sophie, you should be this kind of religious person, or, or maybe no kind of religious person at all. You should yeah. get your sense of the transcendent <laughs> outside religion. My response to that is, okay, let's talk. You know, uh, I think I'll quote the great uh, philosopher Douglas Adams. <laughs> you know, isn't it enough that the garden is beautiful? You don't have to believe there's fairies at the bottom of it. You know, why do we have to add the woo-woo stuff? Why do we have to add the supernatural, the paranormal? First of all, there's no reason to believe it exists at all. And if it does, then show us the evidence for it. This is a kind of a scientific way of thinking about these things. Is it true? So, since Sophie Grace uh, said she's a Christian, let me ask you, do you think Jesus actually died, was dead for three days, and came back to life? Literally. Yes. Why would you believe that? Long story. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I used to believe it. I was a born-again Christian for seven years, and I just decided I don't think it ever happened. Now, if somebody says, well, it happened mythically, or it's metaphorically true, uh, Joseph Campbell, Jordan Peterson kind of, this is my pragmatic truth, it works for me, I'm not trying to claim it's literally true, all right, I can see some value in that. But I don't want to believe things unless they're actually true, and, and, and unless it's in some other realm, like, a political truth, you know, what's the right percentage of immigration in any country? There's no scientific answer to that question. Uh, or, you know, religion has certain truths about it that we can't prove, but they're my truths. Okay. But, but I would accept Jesus as my savior if you could convince me it actually happened. Go. The longer version, the more serious version of that is actually another bit of Wittgenstein, where he says, for these facts to be um, of religious significance for you, they would have to occupy a completely different place in your life. And that's why it's a long story, because it's, it doesn't suffice for um, faith in any religion, not just Christianity, but any religion, or indeed any new spirituality. It doesn't suffice for faith in that, that you should believe a set of facts. And in that sense, I don't believe it is about a set of facts. It's about an existential orientation to what you take to be facts, um, which as a matter of sober history, may or may not have happened in the historical record. So you are constantly attempting, at least I think if you're sane and critical, you're constantly attempting to keep your mind open and to say, well, let's go on talking. You have this very different perspective on religion from me. I would want to say to someone like Michael that a lot of the time you're, you're just pushing at an open door because that's not where, that's not what it's about for me being a Christian, that's not where it comes from. And I imagine for people who embrace new spiritualities, it's not where they're coming from either. It's not about bald facts. I mean, as if, you know, sort of cosmic parking tickets are issued. Look, I've got the parking ticket. Here's the proof. <laughs> well, you know, you know, if you are a Christian and you believe when you die, you're gonna be up there with Jesus, what's up there? Is it your body? Is it your soul? Yep. This is the, I say the same thing to the mind uploading people. What's going up there? You know, you scan your connectome, and you upload it to the cloud, you're still here. You know, the point of view self is still right down here. That's just a copy. So do you believe that it's a copy of you up there afterwards, or is it actually you, and what does that mean? Um, well, I think that what I believe about um, eternal life is that I don't know very much about it, but the hope and the promise is there in the faith that I hold. So we'll see. Well, I'm kind of hoping I get to see you. To continue watching this video, click the link in the top left or in the description below. Or visit iai.tv for more debates and talks from the world's leading thinkers on today's biggest ideas.